So today's video is a makeup tutorial on the look I'm wearing right now. And today is an exciting and fun video because everything on my face is under $10. Tati from Glam Life Guru recently did a video where she did a full face of makeup using only makeup products that were less than $10. So that is what I'm doing for you guys today. Everything on my face is under 10 bucks, except the eyeshadow palette I use. The eyeshadow palette I use is $10. And I know everything is supposed to be under $10, but the eyeshadow palette is $10. So I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But yeah, I totally love this look. I think it's fun and I really love the products that I used. So I will link Tati's video down below. I tag anybody who watches this. I tag all YouTubers. And yeah, if you want to see how to get this look, then just keep watching. Okay, so I'm going to start off with my eye makeup. I'm going to prime my eyelids using the Essence I Heart Color Intensifying Eyeshadow Base. I'm not sure if this is new or not. I recently purchased this at Ulta, but I had never seen it before. They had a different eyeshadow base that I've used in the past, but it was too yellow for me. It was good, but it was a little bit too yellow. So I saw they came out with like a pinky, creamy vanilla shade, so I wanted to snatch that up. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with the e.l.f. Mad for Matte eyeshadow palette. I'm technically cheating with this product because this is $10, and I know it's supposed to be under $10. But it's so good and perfect and it's 10 bucks, so don't hate me. I'm gonna take this first shade right here and I'm just gonna set my primer with this. Then I'm just gonna add a little bit of tape to the side of my eye, putting this on the back of my hand. I know I shouldn't be putting tape on my skin, but I think they actually make tape that's like okay for skin. I think I've seen Katie use it. I'm not sure, but I'm just gonna apply this right here to create kind of like this sharp line. Now I'm gonna take my Morphe R38 brush and I'm gonna dip it into this brown color right here and I'm going to pop this into my crease. I'm gonna take this really, really warm reddish brown with the same brush and just start focusing this on the outer corners of my eyes and drag it into the crease. With that same brush, I'm gonna take this pinky shade right here and blend out the edges. My lighting is a little bit weird in this video because I'm filming this very late at night and I usually film during the day. Now I'm gonna take my Adelium Tools 776 brush. I'm gonna take this really dark, almost plummy brown and only focus this really close to the tape right there on the outer corners. I'm not gonna drag this color into the crease. On a clean, fluffy brush, I'm just gonna blend everything. I swear, lifting up your eyebrows like this really helps you blend. I'm gonna take my Morphe R41 brush. I'm gonna highlight underneath my brow bone with this shade. This shade is actually like the exact color of my skin, so there's not much highlighting, but it gives just a little bit of smoothness. I'll add some of my face highlight under there later on. I'm also gonna take that same shade with my Wet n Wild little eyeshadow brush and I'm going to apply this right here. Kinda clean up the look a little bit. Now I'm taking the Essence Eyeliner Waterproof Pen. It has a felt tip and I'm just gonna line, you know, you know what I'm gonna do. I have to get really close to the camera. Okay, so I finished applying my eyeliner and honestly, I have to get like this close to my mirror in order to do my eyeliner and even then I'm not that great at it. So please forgive me, I had to do that off camera, but it just, you know, just lined my eye. I also took off the tape. Oh my gosh, I forgot to put on eyeliner on my tight line. So let me do that really quick. I'm gonna tight line my eyes using the NYX Gel Pencil Liner in Pitch Black. My très jolie, I love this. Okay, so now I'm just gonna move on to the rest of my face. I'm gonna finish up all of my face makeup before 
I finished the eyes. For primer, I'm actually gonna use the Nivea Men Sensitive Post Shave Balm. I wanted to use one of my NYX primers, but they're both over $10. So I'm gonna use the Post Shave Balm. I haven't used this in forever, and I don't know why because it actually is so good. It makes your makeup last all day. It technically isn't a primer, but I'm going to use it as one. For foundation, I'm gonna go in with the Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 foundation and concealer. I hadn't been using this for a while because I had the wrong shade. It was way too dark for me, so I ended up picking up Creamy Vanilla. Hopefully this matches me better. I haven't used it. It's brand new. And, well, that's yellow. We shall blend it out. No worries. This foundation is actually really, really nice. It has full coverage, and it lasts a long time, at least on my skin. My skin is just going through it, guys. Like, it's going through. It. You were all saying that my skin was going through a detox because I've changed my diet and I've been eating a lot healthier. I've just cut out dairy and fast food and stuff, but I'm not sure. My skin has been detoxing for like over five weeks. I don't know if detoxes last that long because that's a pretty long time and it's not getting any better, so... For concealer, I'm gonna use the Catrice Liquid Camouflage High Coverage Concealer. This has really good coverage as well. It's waterproof. It does not smell good at all, but... It's really, really good. On top of that, just to make it a little bit brighter, I'm gonna use the Wet n Wild Highlighting and Concealing Pen. This is in the shade Ivory Into You. And I'm just gonna add that. And then blend that in with the same sponge. This is the Pure Contouring Sponge. I really love this Wet n Wild highlighting concealer, like way more than I like the Maybelline one, way more than I like the L'Oreal one, and it's even cheaper. I'm gonna set everywhere I put concealer, and I think I'm just gonna set the rest of my face too because this foundation can stay just a little bit tacky. I'm gonna use the NYC Smooth Skin Loose Face Powder in the shade Translucent. It can be a little bit messy, but this powder is awesome. It actually reminds me a lot of the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder because it has like that bone color as well. And it really just sets the face nicely. It doesn't look powdery on the skin, and that's a big deal for me, especially since I have dry skin. A lot of powders can emphasize that. This one doesn't, and it's like under $4. It's crazy, but it's good. I love it. This is not big enough to set my whole face, but we're already doing it, so let's roll with it. You know what? I'm actually going to finish up my eye makeup and then... I'll do the rest of my face. Okay, so to finish up the eyes, I'm gonna take this ColourPop eyeliner. This is their creme gel liner in the shade Bee Sting, the coolest blue ever. I'm gonna drag it outside of my line a little bit. And then I'm gonna go in with this little e.l.f pointed pencil brush that comes out next month. These are not released yet, but I love this for smudging eyeliner. It's so good. On top of that, I'm gonna take this ColourPop eyeshadow in the shade Too Shy. It's such a cool color. It looks purplish blue in some lights, and then it looks like an aqua blue in other lights. It also has like little glitters everywhere. I'm gonna take my Morphe E36 brush, dip it into this eyeshadow, and just apply it really lightly on top of this blue because I just want a hint of glitter. Now I'm gonna go in with mascara. I'm gonna use the Jordana Best Lash Extreme Mascara, probably like the most affordable mascara I own, but I'm going through a phase where I'm not loving it. <laughs> I'm just so used to my Kiko Extra Sculpt Bali Mascara, which you guys know is my favorite mascara of all time, but it's $14, so I couldn't use it in this video. This one is worth it because it is so inexpensive, but it can get a little bit clumpy a little too quickly. 
And then for my inner corners, I'm gonna take the highlight I'm gonna use on my face. This is the Essence Pure Nude Highlighter in the shade Be My Highlight, which is like such a strange name. But I'm gonna take the Morphe R41 brush and apply this underneath my brow bone. I'm obsessed with this, this is so amazing. It's ridiculous how cheap it is in terms of price, but how amazing and not cheap it is in terms of quality. Okay, so that completes the eyes. The mascara is a little bit clumpy, but we can look past it. Okay, so now I'm gonna contour my face. I'm gonna take the Catrice Prime and Fine Professional Contour Palette. This is in the shade Ashy Radiance. I actually haven't used this yet, and I've had it for like a while. But I'm gonna contour my face. This is like one of those NARS brushes. It has like a weird name, like a gabuki doki leaky. I'm gonna contour my face with this. I hope it's not too ashy. It looks pretty gray. I want to do another one of my full face using drugstore makeup and affordable brushes video. I always do drugstore videos, you guys know this, but a lot of the times I'll just use the brushes I have on my vanity and not all of them are affordable. So I want to do another one of those kinds of videos because I really like filming them. So this does blend out really nicely and it does give you the illusion that there's like a shadow there. I'm just going to contour my forehead a little bit because we all know it's big. Okay, so I just wanted to contour a little bit, but I want to bronze up the skin. So I'm going to take my airbrush powder brush from It Cosmetics, and I'm going to take the NYC Smooth Skin Bronzer in the shade Sunny, an oldie but a goodie. And I'm just going to warm up the face. Gonna bronze my neck a little bit because I want everything to match. Okay, so for blush, I'm gonna take my most affordable blush in my collection. This is from the brand LA Colors. You can get this like at the dollar store. This is the mineral blush in the shade Natural. And I'm gonna take my It Cosmetics blush brush and just dust this on the cheeks. And then for highlight, I'm gonna take my Real Technique setting brush and dip it into the Essence highlighter I used earlier. And I'm gonna put this everywhere. Not everywhere. Gives you a glow from within. It's amazing. And so affordable. It's crazy, it's crazy. I would put it on my forehead like I usually do, but Mama's got some crap on that forehead. For lips, I don't know if I want to go with this or if I want to go with this. <gasps> I think I'm going to go with this one because it is more affordable than the Milani one. So this is the LA Girl Matte Flat Finish Pigment Gloss. It's a liquid lipstick and it's in the shade Flair. Flair, Flair, Flair. I actually really like these. There's a couple colors that I don't like that they're a little bit patchy, but Fleur, Fleur is actually my favorite one out of all of them. Okay guys, so that completes this video. This was a full face of makeup using makeup products that are under $10. And some of these products were even under $5. So I hope you enjoyed this look. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Shaz it's, hold on, ne? Catrice Liquid Camouf Camouflage. Sets the face nicey, nicey. This is, in the, this is in the shade Ashy. This is in the shade Ass, Ass. Hold on. Hold on.